Hello and welcome to the Average uh, channel. Today we are going to be looking at some new jelly paints because hi I'm Steph and I have a problem. We can all just breeze on past that please because I know I buy a lot of jelly paints but also I'm an art channel so I like to review paints but also HMIMI, Himmy, Mia Gouache, whatever you want to call it, he Mia Arts, not Mia Gouache, uh, came out with a new version of the jelly paint so you've probably seen the thumbnail so you probably already know what I'm talking about so this is the old one well not the old one but this is a version that has 28 colors 24 colors and then this version has 48 and it's exactly the same size so you're probably wondering what do you mean by that <laughs> what are you saying well here we go let's do a little unboxing because inside these ones is a double pot, so you get double the colours, obviously less paint, but that is so cool. I don't know why, <laughs> every time I'm just like, that's awesome, whenever I open a jelly paint. I don't know, I've got, an, I've got an addiction guys, okay? And I think if you're watching this, you have an addiction too. And they're so cute with the double action. We're going to test these out, and they look incredible so far, I'm just... A little bit obsessed i wish there was a way that you could just see them like that all the time i don't know uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and open these which is the bane of my existence as existence as many of you know Okay, and we're done, finally. Uh, that took ages, and this brown one really just didn't want to be opened for some reason. Don't know why. This set comes with a palette, but it doesn't come with any brushes, even though there's like a brush hole here, and usually they do, but maybe they're like... Because you've got so many paints, you don't get some brushes as well. Like, no, you don't get all the rewards. <laughs> because I'm gonna be painting with so many colors it would be cool to have a constraint on this because I find that sometimes we're more creative when we put constraints on ourselves and rules so I'm gonna just paint in this tiny sketchbook this is my traveling sketchbook and uh, I thought yeah why not go for it even though I'm not traveling right now it would be fun to try it out I really want to do just something really loose with this but I do want to just maybe use as many colors as possible because I think that could be quite fun. I'm using um, some Himmy Mirror Arts brushes from another set just to, I don't know, rate the brushes as well even though we've already rated them plenty of times, they've always been fine. I want an undercolor in this painting. This sketchbook I got years ago now, it's just one of those sketchbooks that I just pick up and take with me if I'm ever traveling so it's not ever really seen that much action if that makes sense because traveling has not been on the agenda really very much these past few years has it so it would be good to use it a bit more so far loving the paints um, of course always love these jelly paints I think they're just pretty much the same consistency as always I kind of don't see the point of it I guess other than just to have like more colors I thought it would be somebody said when I mentioned this before that it would be nice to have like if they were different the cool hue and a warm hue but it doesn't really seem to be the case does it that would be like a fun suggestion I guess some of them are like a little bit maybe I'm completely wrong and not seeing it but yeah so I'm just gonna paint this underpainting now with some color so then the color like pokes through it's nice to have like this box with just lots of colors I suppose you could just buy a bigger <laughs> bigger box but if you want it to just be sort of this easier carryable size then it makes sense also it's just fun right it's nice design I always find that with um, Himmy, Mira Arts they always have just like really nice designed um, products which you know is always a bonus because I think it's nice to have like nice nicely designed things I'm a designer so I can appreciate a good product design um, even though I'm not a product designer I'm a graphic designer but still still you know we're artists 
so it makes sense for us to want to have something nice to look at whilst we're working so I'm just gonna do like a landscape image today and just try and use as many paints as possible just but small smaller because constraints make us creative sometimes and it's always good to put boundaries on ourselves so then it kind of pushes us to think in a different way whilst we're doing stuff Although I'm mixing colours, it seems like I don't really have to because I was trying to mix this colour and then I saw that I had it. <laughs> Which, you know, makes sense because it's a whole lot of colours, so... Yeah, I suppose you could just like mix your own colours to make these colours, right? But it's handy just having them there instantly. I always like to mix colours myself because I feel like colours from a paint set kind of look generic and uh, very... just... plain. But this set just has some really nice colours, I suppose, so you could just not pre-mix them yourself, which makes sense, gives you more time to focus on the painting rather than the mixing, although mixing can be quite a nice thing to do. <laughs> I kind of like mixing, so, hmm. By the way, I asked uh, Mia Arts to send me one of these uh, sets, because I was like, I'll do a review of them, you know, like, it'll be amazing, and they were just like, no. <laughs> because they're not available in the UK yet but I got it shipped from America for me because I was like I need that that looks cool I want to review it so it's not unfortunately it's not available for people in UK if you desperately want one uh, message me and I'll show you how I did it um, but yeah it's it's kind of unfortunate because it's kind of, we all have access to it it would be nice but it was a journey to try and get these. I kept checking every day if they were available and it just kept saying sold out but then in the end it turns out it wasn't so it's all good. Ooh I do not like that colour. That colour is not nice. I like this colour actually, this could work. Yeah so just wanted to test these out really and try them out for you guys even though they are pretty much just you know jelly paints but more of them. Not really sure. It, it could be just a gimmick, I'm not sure yet. Uh, just trying them out I mean it got me right because I was like that looks cool <laughs> I want to try them uh, so the gimmick is working as far as selling art supplies work but what's the use of them other than that I guess the pre-mixing is nice it saves you time do you need to save that much time not sure but it is nice it is nice that's what I'm gonna say I, I think I said it's nice about 5,000 times and uh, no one is interested in niceness is that black? Did I just put black there? I thought that was blue. Oh no, it is a black. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> I don't want to put black in my painting. Ew. I thought it was an extreme, extremely dark blue, but it turns out it's a black. And I really don't like using black on my painting. So here we go. I'm going to have to try and get it off. The good thing about um, gouache is that it's very forgiving for mistakes like this. However, my paper isn't, as you can see. So we're gonna have to be very careful with that now. Cover up that mess. Yeah, I thought that was just a, a dark blue because it's next to that other dark blue. So that was my mistake. I should have looked at the colors before I just delved in. It's always good to include a black in a set, I guess, but I just, my personal taste, I'm like, go away. <laughs> I don't need you. Give me more whites. <laughs> It's also fun to just pick up colours and mix just on the page, just having fun and being loose. It definitely helps with looseness, as you can see, because I just slammed some black down on it, but it's helping me. I need to loosen up a little bit, because even though I've got this constraint, I want to be free and pretend like I've got this whole this whole table as a canvas and just go for it but it's it's hard you know so to get out of your head as well sometimes so in case you can't tell what I'm painting because I mean well yeah duh, it's not really much yet but I'm going to be painting just an English landscape English countryside um, just very like basic bold shapes and bold strokes is what I'm aiming to achieve here. It is difficult for me to not be so careful but I'm just trying to make it a little bit different than my usual style I guess. Just So 
So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just building up really basic shapes. Uh, I have a reference image here and I'm just like squinting at it and trying to just see where the colors and the highlights are and just kind of just dab them in and like shape them up like where I see it shining the light I mean that didn't make any sense where I see them shining where I see the light shining I'm trying to just imply that without thinking too much about forms I'm not sure what this is looking like, but I'm enjoying myself, which is the main point, as we say, on this channel. And uh, I am kind of liking how it's coming out. It's just, it needs a bit more work, obviously. So doing that now, it needs some darker hues, I think, because it looked nice once I added that dark blue down here, kind of gave the impression. I really like the pink poking through. So I'm trying to leave areas where it's kind of still there um, but without like being too obvious if that makes sense without like it looking too intentional uh, which is difficult because it is intentional <laughs> Do some bushes or something. I like bent this brush before, I don't even see that, but <laughs> it's kind of oddly working out for me. <laughs> it's like a nice little church here in this reference image but I didn't want it to be like the main focus of the image I guess it is still but um yeah I just want to kind of draw it paint it in there a little bit uh, let's see maybe if I just use like a dark blue tint at what it is I don't want to like overly uh show what it is but I think it would be cute to just a little hint, you know? Not sure if that's very clear what it is, but I kind of enjoy how it's looking. I want to do like another little house in the distance here, because there is one in the reference and I think it will be cute. Just have it in this pink uh, shade as well, but just Again, not like overly obvious what it is, just like hint at the shape. I think it would be cute. Um, Okay, and I think we're done because I don't want to do too much to this painting. I like the idea of having it really, really simplified. But this is the final look of the painting and I think it's cute. I like it. It's like very illustratory style, loose. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, these paints are cool, as usual. Pretty great. I don't really see the reason for this. It seems, feels like a bit of a gimmick, but it's more colors in one set, so if you like the idea of having more colors, then this is the set to go for. Bear in mind, it doesn't come with paintbrushes, which is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a rude thing, I would say. <laughs> but I really like them, and uh, yeah, I've added more jelly paints to my collection. And don't worry, guys, I have been using them. I use them a lot behind the scenes. Um, not that you know, but. Yeah, it's been great, great journey. So I'm really happy to share this with you. Please like the video and subscribe if you made it to the end, I guess, because 
it did take me a lot of effort to try and find these paints and uh, to get them here to test them out for you. So please uh, give it, give this uh, video a like if you can. That would be great. Thank you very much. Okay, I need to stop. Stop working on this. It's done. All right. Thank you. Bye.